Welcome back to my channel. Again, tonight I have an unboxing. If you've been watching my channel, I believe within the last week, I've had about, I wanna say about three or four uh, unboxing videos. And again, tonight I have another one because I've been shopping late at night again. And I'm super excited. All right. I think I'm just gonna jump on in. Uh, this package, uh, it's an eBay purchase. It is a, another ping. Do I remember which one it is exactly? I'm not sure. I do believe I have like two more pings coming in. They haven't shipped yet. And this one was actually right across uh, the bay from me. So it actually came pretty quick. I was pretty thankful for it. Okay. Well, let's check this out. I'm gonna unveil it straight in front of you guys. Let's make sure, oh. Well, it helps if I have the box the right way. I think the label and the box are a little bit backwards here. Nope, did I open it? Oh, duh, okay. Well, let me figure out which way does this box open. Am I not opening it correctly? Wow, okay. There, I got my, finally, I got my fingers through it. So, here we go. Ta-da! Paper! Okay. What I think I like about Pings is the shipping on this is actually pretty straightforward, right? The packaging, like most people have been using condiment cups, because I think the Pings kind of fit them pretty well. Let's see how this is done. So this is coming from Exotica Esoterica. All right, so Exotica Exoterica. Great packaging here. Nope, I can get rid of this box. Don't need it there. We got some paper. Let me kind of keep this nice and open for you guys. We get all this paper off. All right. And just like that, I got some saran wrap on top of it. Let me show this to you. Got a little glare from my lights. Here we go. And let me get the tag. The Pinguicula Lawiana. Pinguicula Lawiana. Do I know what the CC is? I don't. I might have to like look that up. So if I do find out a little bit more, I'll probably put it um, uh, down below um, on the video. But right now, I do not know what that means. If you do know before me, yeah, please let me know. Definitely want to keep the tag. Awesome. All right, let's get rid of this. And what I'm, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the pot that I just put together uh, really quickly. I think my previous video, I just did a how-to on how I uh, pot up my pots. You know, what substrate did I use? And here we go. So I'm gonna use the same one. All right, how am I going to do this? So it looks like we got some moss down here. Kind of packed in to keep it nice and moist. Let's show you, right? So it's nice. Ooh, it's actually really like, really sharp and green. I really like this one. Okay. So what I'm gonna 
do, I'm going to try to pick it up from the bottom here, or maybe I, I got to get some more sphagnum moss out. Let me just use my fingers. All right, just put this upside down. So what I definitely like to do is I like to take all kind of like the substrate that each of the sellers kind of send me because I like to then pot it in my own substrate. It's being a little finicky, but I definitely want to be careful. Careful on these pings because, you know, pings got really shallow roots. So you definitely want to be careful. And it looks like he probably grew it in this sphagnum moss. Sphagnum moss is definitely a great substrate to grow things. I'm actually using it myself on a lot of my propagations and cuttings for my philodendrons that I have. I do find it very nice and they grow really well on it. Okay. It's okay if a little sphagnum moss uh, sticks on there. I guess I'm pretty, uh, my OCD is kind of kicking in. So there, this is what I want to show you. Look at the roots on that. If you can see, look at those roots. Really nice and shallow. So it kind of leaves me to, so usually what I'll do is, you know, I'll kind of flip it over uh, on my pot here. But since the roots are kind of like sticking up a little bit, I want to create a little bit more of a hole in this substrate so then the roots can have great contact with the peat moss, the sand, perlites, and pumice. And then what I'll do then is then push the substrate um, over it. So let me see. There we go. So there it kind of like lays on top and then what I'll do is then I'll start pushing the substrate right into it and that should make good contact with the roots. So you can push down a little bit, but you definitely don't want to push down too hard because, you know, leaves you don't, <laughs> I guess me, I don't want to break any of the little leaves here. So here we go, right? It was actually pretty quick, nice and potted up. Looks really good. Wow, ready to go. Uh, let me just do a little 360 just to make sure that I get all the substrate pushed down that I wanted to. It kind of pushed in there. And yes, I did. Okay. And I think last thing that I want to do is, you know, I like to kind of keep tabs, or at least I really need to kind of keep up tabs on the, the names of each of the pings that I get. So what I'm going to do is, since... I guess I'm pretty uh, specific, and this is just a personal thing. I've kind of have all my own uh, tags that I bought, and then I'm going to just kind of write it down here. And then, so I have the plant and the plant name, and then what I'll do is then I'll just write down the month and the year that I got it. Right, so just pretty sure straightforward. Uh, I like to write it in pencil because I've heard if you write it in pen, um, the pen over time will, uh, you know, if water gets on it, it'll streak, it'll kind of like lose, just basically fade away. But pencil, like the lead and the graphite, it'll stay forever.
All right, so I'll just kind of put the tag in here, have it all nice labeled up, and that's it. That's all she wrapped. So I appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch my unboxing. I believe uh, I'll probably have another one because I do. I am waiting for two more pings to come and another a shipment. It hasn't uh, arrived just yet. Uh, so I'll probably have another one in the future. But thanks for uh, watching my video. Uh, please like, uh, subscribe, comment, uh, share. Uh, if you're following my channel, I am new to this. I'm trying to grow it. And just to kind of share all the things that I do to kind of upkeep my uh, plants here in my office, right? Um, you know, as you can see, look, I got plants right here. There's another monster there, plants in front of like my TV, um, that's here in my office. I think soon I'll also try to do a, a little plant tour uh, of my office too, upcoming. So thanks again, uh, take care, I appreciate it, and until next time, bye-bye.